Hello everybody, this is CJ Wilson, Firkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and what we're looking at here is a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited. Uh, this one does have the optional V6. It also has a technology group and the navigation as well. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this vehicle, um, completely redesigned for 2019. Uh, so it's got some uh, different, the, the first thing you'll notice at the very front is the grill's different, headlights are different. Uh, they've got that uh, long swooping LED Kind of wraps around the side of the vehicle for added visibility um, but the grill you know stands a little more up front because this one does have the technology package you can take a look up there and that is the eye that actually um, part of that system and the one of the windshield that actually is what uh, reads the lines in the road for the pre-collision system radar sensing cruise control so we'll step around to the side of the vehicle this this one is a limited model um, so this one's going to have the smart key technology actually all of them have the smart key technology now um, so if you need to get in the vehicle, you just grab the handle. The sensor is actually on the back of the handle. And then to lock it, if you're going to step away, just hit that button there. So we'll take a quick look on the inside. So yeah, as you will see here, really, really nice interior. Um, this one has the perforated leather seats in it. Um, has the memory seating as well. Uh, and I think they consider this a 10-way adjustable seat. Um, and it's got the power lumbar. Uh, automatic headlights um, and then also we'll take a look on the inside here turn the radio down so very nice 8.4 inch screen with this one um, this one does have a navigation uh, this one's you know the navigation setting is um, set up is very user friendly so you can actually make it three-dimensional there and you can actually change the icon there as well but uh, it does have the radio you do have a lot of voice activated controls on this so um, this is equipped with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So you actually just, it has to be tethered in for those features to work, but you can actually run some of your applications directly into this 8.4 inch screen, like your Pandora, um, your audiobooks. There's about 32 different applications that are working for the um, iPhone. And then you know, as far as Apple and then Android actually has a few more, believe it or not. And uh, and with the Android, you can actually toggle between a few different um, GPS systems. Like if you have your own preference of you want to use Google Maps or Waze, you actually have that ability through uh, the Android Auto feature. But uh, taking a look at the steering wheel here, so the voice activation controls, you just click this. Tune to satellite channel 11. So you can see there's some prompts there. Tune to satellite but, 11. Uh, you know works very very well if you press and hold that down this VR button stands for voice recognition what that will do you hold it down for two seconds and that will actually activate on your iPhone it'll activate Siri so you can say hey Siri what's the weather give you the weather update or hey Siri text dad that I'm on my way home uh, and you know so it, it works very well like that um, this is actually a seven inch screen that's actually on the display cluster here now because this one does have the lane keep assist You'll notice right there, um, what, that's an icon that lets you know that it, the vehicle is equipped with lane keep assist and how you can turn it on or off is here. Most of the time you want to leave it on. There may be a few instances where you'd actually want it off, but once you get over 35 miles an hour, what happens is this little white light will turn to green and that just means that the vehicle is actually reading the lines in the road. Now granted the road has to be fairly smooth and the lines have to be, you know, fairly prevalent for it to read um, but I you know here in Brayton Florida it reads most of the roads just fine and now whenever it is correcting you that will turn to like an amber color and you can actually feel it correct you um, on the steering wheel um, after so many times of correcting you it will be about you until you put your hands back on the wheel um, but it, it is pretty amazing how it works uh, now because of that that's part of the technology package so um, this one does have the parking assist. So how this works is you hit this button and oh, the driver door is open. So we'll click that button again here. Oh, it's gonna be in drive. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this for demonstration purposes just so you can see. So um, active park sense searching. So right now, see how the Jeeps are in like a parallel setup. Um, it says, press right or left to switch maneuver. So if you press it the other way, it's gonna switch you to perpendicular park. And then that way, 
Um, the little key to it, I would do a demonstration, but um, there's not any spots close to where I'm at. But um, when it, let's say you're parking perpendicular, what you do is you actually go completely, let's say there's an opening and you don't feel comfortable backing in, you turn that on, um, vehicle has to be in drive, you drive um, basically where that space is, you drive completely past it, but just kind of keep your foot hovering the brake, it'll tell you to stop, and then shift to reverse, and it, then it prompts you on this screen what to do. Um, and literally you just kind of hold your foot over the brake, um, and the steering wheel kind of does its thing, maneuvers, you may have to go forward and backwards a couple times, but it's really slick how it works. But uh, again, this Uconnect system, uh, very, very user friendly. You know, one thing I like to show people is like, let's say you want to turn the fan speed up. So you have the ability to do it with the dial here or down, but also when you click on climb it, um, you know, you can touch it where you want it. You can arrow down, you can go up. Uh, so there's a lot of ways that if you're trying to make something happen with this system, you know, it works really well letting you do what you're trying to do, even if you're not completely familiar, familiar with it or you have your preference, like, you know, I prefer to use the dial versus the touchscreen when you still have that option. So go back to the radio here. This one does have the AM, FM, and Sirius XM. Um, you get the Sirius XM for a year, and then under apps, one of the big things right now, gas prices are starting to go up. So you have this travel link, and it's gonna come standard on the systems with the navigation for sure. Um, I'm not sure if it comes on all of the limiteds or not. I would have to look into that. But um, you click on the fuel prices here, and it'll tell you where the lowest fuel prices are in relationship to where you're at. And it's pretty dang accurate. Uh, people are pretty amazed by that. But then you also have some other things like your weather map. So it's a nice sunny day down here in Florida. Little pop up showers here, there, you know, but that's about normal uh, in our summer months. But uh, so again, when you click the U apps here, this gives you everything. I could go through each one of these things. Um, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible, but just so you can see, um, you can adjust the settings, you can change the color of this whole system. You do have Wi Fi hotspot, uh, you know, at any time if you want to click the backup camera, you can. Um, just maybe you're pulling something, or maybe you just want to check behind you, before, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, you can just quickly take a look at that. This one is the four wheel drive. So this does have the select train management, so you have the auto. So what that will do is any wheel slippage, you'll start sending powers to the wheels that it needs. Um, you have snow, sport, sand, and mud. So snow is gonna start you off basically when you put it in there. It's gonna take away a little bit of throttle response in order to eliminate some wheel spin. And I think it won't start you off in first gear, you'll be in second gear, but um, it will help you maintain traction. Uh, sport is going to make it a little bit more responsive and almost 50 50 i believe as far as the power distribution and the, the sand and mud what that actually does is it's very similar to sport but it's actually going to allow you some wheel spin because like if you are going through the sand or the mud a little bit of wheel spin is not bad because that helps with momentum that kind of thing but uh i don't know completely about it that's just what i've been told with the readings that i've seen so maybe maybe there's a little bit more about that but that's just my understanding so um, again, there's the memory seating, so it's very nice when you have that feature. Um, you do have a storage space up here, um, also here, you know, for some sunglasses. And then these are your controls for the top. So um, that's for the sunshade, and you can hear it going back in this video, and I'll finish taking that all the way back, and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, kind of goes all the way back, so nice, uh, full, very big, the sunroof in this very clean take a look at the second row so here's the second row seating story for all the plastic this vehicle literally just came in but you do have some nice AC vents for the people in the back here and then one nice little thing too is you do have a three prong plug you know so if your kids need to power up a laptop or you know whatever they're doing any tablets and then you do have the USB um, two USBs there as well and one of them is a data port It'll actually integrate into the system too. But it is equipped with the child safety anchors, you know, as those buttons are marked. Um, this does have the fold down uh, console here. So super, super nice. So this one 
Again, it's a 4x4, four four, you can, so you can see that. Uh, does have the rear power lift tailgate, does have the alert. Um, as you can see here, 60 40 fold split seats in the back, so you can actually fold those seats down if you need to. And then you do have some storage under here as well. And then this one is equipped with a spare tire, um, so that is an option. And if you, I guess if you need more space, and you can actually lower that shelf. But uh, we're just going to leave it up here just because I'm going to get it back to normal. But uh, you, your button to close the power lift tailgate's right here. There is also a button way up by the center, um, right above the rear view mirror, to uh, open the hatch as well. Um, and then this does have the jam protection in it, so if it notices any obstruction, it'll actually automatically go up. And then also, um, does have the pinch protection here, so you, it's hard to see this. There's actually like a little air tube, and uh, I'll show you how sensitive that is. So I'm gonna lower this tower, power lift tailgate, and you'll see here, as soon as I touch it, it goes right back up. So, um, you know, just because anything can get jammed in there and you don't want to cause any damage to yourself, most importantly, but uh, also you don't want to damage the vehicle as well. So here again is a look, the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited V6, 3.6 liter. Um, this one does give you, it's 271 horsepower. And this one, I'll, I don't know if you can see here, but you do get 19 city, 27 highway. Um, and this is the four wheel drive one. So, uh, and then there's the options so you can just see everything it has. And sorry, my big ugly head's in the way. But uh, again, here's a look at the vehicle. Um, to find out more about this vehicle and others like it, you can contact me, CJ Wilson, at 941-704-3169. Or you can visit our website at www.ferkinscj.com. And we will see you soon.